Sully. That's him. <laughs> Have you even been watching the game so far? We kind of knew this was bound to happen. <laughs> The one thing I'm sad about is like, you know, Nathan Drake tears shit up all the time when he's just like normal and happy and joking. Like, when his grandpa dies, I wish he went into like a blood rage that added some <laughs> sort of new gameplay mechanic. Also, these guys are different. That would have been amazing. Okay, what's different about them? Oh, their heads are on fire. I yeah. see. Yeah. So, these guys, when they take, they're like armored a little, so when they, uh, they die, they actually come back to life and they burst into flames. On top of doing the normal stuff they do, they can also teleport, throw fireballs, and shoot, like, RPG fireballs sometimes. Somebody in the thread, please post the comics page with, the, like, all the Ghost Riders through history. <laughs> Including the one riding a shark. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> so, these guys can be a bit of a pain because, you know, on top of just having more health. Like, they don't do any extra damage, but because of that teleport thing they can do, they can sneak up on you real quick. Uh, so it's actually not a super good idea to take cover for long periods of time. Because Did you just, just skip a treasure back there, or is that a gun? I, that's a treasure, but I'm gonna grab it later, because I knew they were... Okay. There's still men there, and I knew... So they generally <laughs> die from... They generally die from two hits from, from, from a grenade, but when guys are killed over like that... There's something weird going on with how they take damage from grenades, and instead they just get knocked over by, like, splash damage instead of, like, the direct damage from the grenade. I don't know. Because normally it's just two to take them out. Um, another thing is you can melee these dudes, but... But you wouldn't recommend it? It's difficult to do, because if you get up close to them, they'll, like, do this little burst thing where they shoot flames out everywhere and then knock you over and then teleport somewhere. <laughs> of course. Didn't forget about this one. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't gonna die. Yeah, you've got it for next Halloween. Yeah. What are you? I'm Nebuchadnezzar. Eh. No, nobody gets it at this party. You guys are all <laughs> lame. This party's dumb. I'm obviously Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> Read a book. saw the eighth kid from where the wild things are. God. <laughs> Be original, why don't you? Come back here, you son of a bitch! You're gonna pay for your grandpa crime. <laughs> you're dead. You hear me? You're dead. Talbot, how do you plead against your crimes against grandpa? <laughs> Come back here, you They try grandpa crimes in the Hague, man. Oh snap! This is really cool. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! And I like how they have a remix version of the song that originally played in the Cartagena chase. It's all weird and wobbly. Yes. I should be doing commentary, but I'm just appreciating. <laughs> yeah. Can't help it. Sorry, guys. It's a short segment, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, no. Now the truth is revealed. All those bullets were actually pissed off spiders. Oh, no! I thought the truth was that all three games were just the dream in the mind of a child. <laughs> yeah. The entire series has, has just been this same chase. To overcome your grandpa grief, you must kill him yourself. I don't know, I think that works. Yeah, shoot him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Oh, going out of my mind. What happens if you go up to him and try to give him a, a, a paternal hug? Unfortunately, you cannot give Grandpa a hug. Oh, man. Yeah. So even though Drake that's, is... That's my preferred method of overcoming adversity in video <laughs> games. Drake might be flipping his shit, but he still has time to pick up treasure. Is, is he boxing someone invisible? Why you got your hands up, Drake? Uh, 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 stick, stick and move! Stick and move! I gotta get out. I gotta get out of here. No, no, no. No. I can't do this. What is this? What's happening? <laughs> I'm running down the stairs like a moron. What's happening? <laughs> what is this? It was like the it's like this going downstairs animation from MGS2. <laughs> Very quickly but daintily going down every step. Is there is there a pump that I should strut? Hmm. There's A pump and B pump. Hmm. This whole level, when you're fighting the dudes, uh, the flame dudes, basically every weapon in the level is a really powerful one. No way out. They're here. I'm gonna kill them. The, they're missing a really great opportunity to kill you by not sending dudes. Mm -hmm. And here's the dudes! Hey, there we go! For this segment, they're considerate with the... You got the, all the weird wobbly vision, but when you aim, it, it goes away. <laughs> yes. Nothing like murder to focus the mind. <laughs> That weird screeching ghost. I had no idea that the Nicolas Cage fan convention could have such uh, such powerful mercenaries in attendance. <laughs> so yeah, all of these dudes have the power of the djinn now somehow. <laughs> And we don't mean liquid courage, folks, uh huh? Eh? Whoa! Hey! So that was pretty obvious cut because this area is the, in my opinion, this segment right here is the hardest arena in the entire game. It's only like six fire dudes, but this area is pretty wide open except for the pillars on the side, and they all really love to teleport right around you if you stay in cover. So you kind of just have to. Just constantly run to distract these guys. And right here... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah. So, like I said, the any uh, djinn has mm -hmm. the ability to shoot a fireball rocket at you, so even if they don't have an RPG, they still have the ability to shoot the equivalent of an RPG at you just by shooting fireballs at you. They can also, <laughs> they can also fire... Like, they just did it right there. They can also throw fireball grenades at you. That's just cheating. Yep. That's just straight up cheating. I mean, I haven't read all Thousand and One Nights because I don't want to die. <laughs> but I don't think this is in any of them. Also, to the left side of this arena, there's um, one or two rocket launchers, which can make this segment pretty easy. If you don't get murdered straight up. So we didn't pick him up, because we're pro. Yeah. Sully? Sully! Hey, Sully! No, no, he... Sully! I... Oh, no, no. Gonna plunge a plunger. That's sort of a valve. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some shiny water you got there, Drake. Mm-hmm. Got some weird reflections going on. <laughs> Wait up, me. Hold on uh, a second. You are high as hell. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, no, you gotta spin it the other way, reflection me. Yeah. We're working across purposes. Oh no. Hey other me. What's up? What's it like being me but not? If you go in the water, do you make splashes that erase your other me? Uh, no, he stays there, but he does not follow you. Oh. 
Yeah, you go in the water and he comes out. Whoa. And and then you have like ghost powers. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. Yeah. What? The? Oh my god. Oh my god! All those men I killed decayed already. Oh dear. Oh oh dear. Yeah. I uh, I get that the basic gameplay is just go to place and shoot mans again, but mm -hmm. I love how inventive. The, uh, the presentation is through that yeah. whole section. That's just fantastic. Mm -hmm. More games like this, please. I agree. If you're going to have a linear game where you have to shoot men, at least be creative with it. I've seen a lot of shooting today, and none of it was creative, <laughs> man. Uh, swap your skills, damn it! <laughs> Come on, Jeff. Swap, swap your fucking skills. I got the loot. Or the hostage. Whichever one suits you. They got the grandpa. <laughs> yeah, capture the game, the grandpa. My favorite, uh, my, yeah. my, my, fav my favorite multiplayer mode. It's sort of like King of the Hill, but instead of just climbing on top of a point, you, you have to get a piggyback ride. <laughs> Whoa! That dude's not a gin, he's just a long jumper. Mm -hmm. That guy has pretty good uh -oh. aim for not having a laser sight. Yeah, he he's pretty good. Get out of here. I was waiting... Right here, I was waiting for that man's body to fall down, but it never happened. <laughs> I thought he, like, went over the railing he was standing on, you know? <laughs> but I don't know where he went, really. He just disappeared a little. I mean, there is some debris that landed. I don't know if I vaporized him or what. Anyway, I don't think he's going to be in your hair much. Nah. Your incredibly sandy hair. <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> hey there, buddy. This is a one-way ladder, all right, dude? <laughs> It's an up ladder, read the sign. Yeah. <laughs> Where did he go? Run! Get back! I just love... Like, I've seen some people say that they think... Mm -hmm. Ragdoll physics are lame. And it's time to move on from them, and I don't understand that mindset at all. <laughs> like, more realistic fit- you want more- I don't understand why anyone would want more realistic ragdolls. I- I don't know, I think these ragdolls are- are pretty great, and that joints don't really do what real joints don't do. Yeah. There's still a bit of tension and restriction. Yeah. Which, uh, they aren't goofy, but mm -hmm. they can still be a lot of fun. Mm hmm Whoop! That wasn't me. Yes, it is the sequel to Ghost Dad. Man, I had a hell of a time. <laughs> What's the matter with you? How do I know you're real? The floor ain't waving anymore, kid. Ow! That real enough for you? I don't know. Could he just be a polter paw? I just head. fell through the ground, which was also the ceiling into space, and it <laughs> felt real at the time. I saw them shoot you. Right after the eclipse. What? What eclipse? Look, kid, you went nuts right after you drank from that fountain. It's the water. That's what destroyed the city. Not the wrath of God. The whole water supply is tainted with some sort of hallucinogenic agent. Must have 
Drove everyone mad. This is really stupid and I hate it. I wish you were dead, Sully. That's what Marlowe and Talbot are after. From a dramatic purpose oh, yeah, standpoint, yeah. I wish you were dead. Remember Cutter yeah. said they controlled their enemies through fear. <laughs> this would do it. In spades. But, wait, it doesn't make any sense. How do they think they're getting the water out of here? No, no, it's not the water. It's what's in the water. Come again? All right, listen, just bear with me for a sec. Selim told me that Aram was cursed when Solomon imprisoned the evil spirits of the Jinn inside a vessel of brass and then cast it into the depths of the city. I should have cast it somewhere else, damn bottom. it! I know, it sounds pretty crazy. So you reckon that's why Elizabeth and Dee sent Francis Drake out here in the first place? Yeah. It wasn't treasure they were after. It was power. Only once Drake realized what he'd been sent for, he abandoned the mission. He lied to the Queen, told her he didn't find anything, and then hid all traces of his voyage. Rewrote history. Except for the traces you found. Yeah. I mean, th those were some pretty big traces. There were spiders, Ooh, there's a ring thing. And... A tomb with a Banjo-Kazooie puzzle inside of it. Get down there and end this thing. Once and for all. Dang it, Grandpa. Can I, can I shoot Sully? Because I think this <laughs> game would be stronger as, as a story if we shot Sully right now. I agree. If he would have, if he had actually died, yeah. Give me a hand with this kid. Uncharted 4, he finds another 15 year old. <laughs> Writes itself, come on. Mm -hmm. I like that you pick up all these treasures, but look, there's a literal giant chest right there, probably full of treasure, and we just ignore it. <laughs> no, that's the that's where Drake put all his treasures, it's just like Resident Evil. Oh, okay. He's, He's got another Ready chest guys? back home Let's that see. it will appear in. Right. Sure are a lot of pillars in our realm of the pillars. Hmm. Amazing. This is how they move the water to the surface. Good God. Look at the ceiling here. I'm surprised the whole place hasn't come crashing down yet. I don't know how the hell it's still standing. I just said that, but in different words. <laughs> I'm no engineer or anything, but... I know a little bit about structural integrity. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently is indestructible. So yes, <laughs> yes he should know. <laughs> oh, you found Proto Buddha. Mm-hmm. It's an early work in progress. It's it's Buddha concept art. Look, we don't have much to show this year, but we have this, this this concept Buddha. And just bear with us and by twenty sixteen he'll probably be out. Yes, at the International Religion Expo. <laughs> Boy, I can't wait to see what new religions they thought up this year. Oh Check man, it's it more out. sequels. All these AAA religions. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's a sweet as hell snake in the middle of the room. Are cults just indie religions? <laughs> is that what this is? Open, Maybe, yeah. Any cults got Kickstarters going? <laughs> you know the answer to that. <laughs> Look, we're making our cult entwine. I know it's pretty <laughs> basic, but... What the? <laughs> this area right here is just... The guys are sneaking up on me constantly. Thank you for punching that man, Gramps. <laughs> So, do the, uh, um, Jin people only show up when you're either singly or doubly tripping? Yeah, so the, the, the Jin guys only appear when you're, when you're tripping on the drugged water. So... And or gas. Yeah, so since Drake ain't tripping anymore, right. that was... We don't fight Down the Jin way. anymore, actually. Huh, okay. Yeah, they're, they're only for when you trip More out. More of those inverse faces. Yeah, awesome. let's slowly get out of the way. I need to look at those inverse faces because they're great. They have <laughs> wonderful beards. Look at that. <laughs> it's 
Sully doesn't have nearly enough facial hair. Nah. It's you, you gotta go chin wise, Sully. Come on. Mm -hmm. Look at Drake, he is properly stubbled. <laughs> Thankfully, the T-Bolt sniper, or actually the, the Talu sniper also, mm -hmm. uh, is strong enough that, like, with that armored dude there, even though he has a hat on, it's powerful enough that a single headshot will take him out. So it's strong enough for a man, but sensitive enough for the uh, proper control scheme. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Still not down? Well, fine. How about this? Oh... That'll drop anyone in a Home Alone film. <laughs> well, these guys aren't any more competent than the bad guys in Home Alone, so... <laughs> also, I'm not entirely sure... I'm gonna have to check that again, but that guy, when he misses with the RPG, I'm pretty sure, right before I shot him, he was doing an animation where he looked, like, confused at his RPG and then scratched his head. <laughs> That's what it honestly looked like. I didn't realize there were stairs down there. It looked like Sully just committed suicide and yeah, jumped yeah, yeah. into the, the abyss. I was also confused because I've never actually gone down that way. I've always gone through this way. So when he went down there, I was like, did Sully just kill himself? But no, there, there's actually a pathway there. I never noticed. I wanted him to die earlier when it would have, you know, been a good story beat. Now it's just dumb. <laughs> Not, not like this, Sully, not like this. Whoop! I'm still hoping the game ends on a triple fake out and Sully is really dead for real. <laughs> this is just a hallucination inside of a hallucination? Yes. This one's just faking us out because it doesn't give us wobbly eyeballs. They're definitely going into the water. Hey. This is a gun! Oh, sweet. I'm holding on to this. Sorry, Drake, you don't get the gun. You have enough guns. I can never have enough guns on my belt. Tweet me if you want a gun-flavored pizza roll.